From planning to building, a new phase of development is underway at the College of Marin. Well, the plan is there are four existing buildings, um, Olney Hall, the business building, Harlan Center, and the administration building. Those buildings will all be removed to, to make way for the academic center, which will occupy this, this whole site. And the goal is, is the design of the building really is meant to fit into the, the fabric of the campus. And, and to that end, we are preserving uh, the majority of the mature uh, heritage trees, such as this large oak tree here, and then there's a large valley oak um, in between the business center and, and Harlan Hall that will also be preserved and will be the centerpiece of the new courtyard. Preserving the natural environment and rich history that surrounds the College of Marin is part of the master plan for building the new state-of-the-art academic center. We place the building in a very careful way uh, in response to the campus's original master plan dating back to the 30s. And in placing the building, um, we avoided as many of the heritage trees as possible. There were several that had structural problems and were actually cabled together. Those trees were dangerous and needed to ultimately be removed. And there's some that were diseased. Um, and through some, you know, very creative architecture, we were able to weave the building around uh, some of the healthy remaining heritage trees, which uh, will be a huge asset to the building when it opens on day one. It'll be like instant landscape. When completed, the 43,000 square foot center will include 16 classrooms, a large lecture hall, and offices for faculty and administration. There have been a number of uh, community meetings along the way, updates, and keeping in mind that at one point in time this building was uh, expected to be as large as 77,000 square feet. So now that it's been scaled back significantly to 43,000 square feet, I think the community is much less concerned about it being such a um, an imposing uh, building that would uh, kind of stick out. I think it's been very beautifully designed and it, it is intended to blend into the, the landscaping of the area. Early on in the design process, the College of Marin reached out to the neighbors of Kenfield and listened to and implemented their suggestions. For example, the elevation along College Avenue was really important to the community and how that building um, sort of met the street and created a, um, an inviting um, separation from the street where there'd be appropriate landscape and trees. Um, we didn't want to have any areas that would um, uh, be an attractive nuisance, uh, but we did uh, want a lot of light into the building and use some very attractive materials to make the appearance uh, soft and natural looking. The community started to really get involved and be participatory in the decisions that the college was making and we seemed to be welcomed by the college to do that. So. That, that started a whole new process, which has been very positive for everybody. With residents' input, the college selected architect Mark Cavaniero to design the project, along with TLCD Architecture. Cavaniero is known for his award-winning renovations, like the California Palace of Legion of Honor, the Oakland Museum, and the design of the new San Francisco Jazz Center. We've had a terrific relationship, I think, with the community. There was an organized community group that we met with often early on, and then there were larger members of the community who attended many of the public meetings. I think we've had a lot of intelligent dialogue, a lot of very healthy criticism, most of which we've gone back and rethought our project and reworked the design to accommodate in ways that would still work to serve the program and the budget, but really reflect that on the broader, I think, collaborative process of what the community wanted and needed from the campus and for this site. And I, I just ha have real confidence that um, he will be very uh, caring about the community and that he wants to put a very fine building on the that's highly visible to the community. Also highly visible will be the historic columns that will be removed from the administrative center and featured as a gateway to the overall campus. There's a sense of history here, the different generations that have built the campus, the different generations of architecture that exist, and the sense that this community college has been here for as long as the community itself. And so reconnecting to the history through the landscape, through the architectural elements, through the site planning, through the Great Quad itself, is a way to remember that sense and to really remind all of us how integral 
this campus is to the county. And for students and faculty, the new building will create an enhanced learning environment. It opens the world to, to your classes and in a way that you, we haven't had before. Uh, and it, it just makes the whole atmosphere more conducive to learning, more conducive to cooperative learning and shared, shared um, discussion about things that are happening in the world today that can be talked about but can also be shown. There'll be many uh, state-of-the-art technology uh, in the classroom from the computer labs uh, to some of the building, you know, electrical, mechanical systems. Um, we incorporated geothermal, um, which is a green energy, um, harvesting heating and cooling from the earth to heat and cool the building. Um, there are several other lead features, green features of the building, um, and we hope to achieve either lead silver or lead gold. And throughout every phase of the development, the college will remain open, responsive, and accessible to the community. As we go forward with the new academic center and the, and the development of the corner, I'm sure that we'll be totally involved. I know that they're going to involve the community because it's, it's the front of the community. So there's, there's no question about it, and they've shown that they are. So. I hope the community will be pleased at the end. I'm pretty confident they will be. There's been so much care given from the College of Marin, the administration, the president's office, the faculty and staff. The leadership there has been completely consistent with us from day one that they want a great school building, but they want a great building in terms of how it relates the campus back to the community. And that's been our focus. Both those two criteria have been involved in every decision along the way. And I think when the building is done, the community is going to embrace it because it'll be clear that this building was designed with a lot of consideration about how it reflects on and integrates with the community around it.